everyone, Alexa here from the blog thedubalhomestead.com and today we are making an einkorn ravioli from scratch with a butternut squash filling. motivation for creating this recipe was to create a healthy pasta with a nice filling that could be a good lunch or dinner meal on its own. Now if you have never used einkorn flour before, that is what I'm using in this recipe. Einkorn flour is kind of like regular flour that you would find at the store. Sorry for the suckling. But the difference is that it is higher in protein and a lower in gluten, making it a much more filling and nourishing type of grain. So if you've ever eaten a pasta dish that is just regular processed grain, you usually don't feel very filled after you eat that. Usually maybe you have a blood sugar spike or crash. And einkorn flour is nicer because it does have a higher protein content. So a lot of people who are sensitive to grain can tolerate einkorn better than regular grain. Today I'm going to be making a butternut squash filling with some sage and garlic. I think it's just really delicious and it's a nice way to get in the squashes which are in season now that it's fall. You can also use pumpkin, you can use an acorn squash. I am going to be using canned butternut squash for this recipe. I haven't made it to the store yet to buy real squashes or to our farm stand yet. They're just not quite available. I think they'll probably be available this weekend but just haven't gotten them yet. So first you're going to add two and a half cups of einkorn flour and one and a half teaspoons of salt to a large bowl and stir it together. create a little hole in the center. To another bowl, you're going to add three large eggs, two egg yolks, two tablespoons of olive oil, and whisk it together with a fork. Then pour the egg mixture into the hole and combine everything with a spoon or your hands until a dough forms. Okay. This process might take longer than you think and it will be very thick. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap and set it aside. So for this filling, I'm going to combine a can of butternut squash, two cloves of minced garlic, half a cup of finely shredded cheese, Two tablespoons of sage and I'm going to add a few other Italian herbs because I don't have actually just pure sage. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of salt and a pinch of pepper in a bowl with a wooden spoon. Next you want to flour a clean workstation and divide the dough in half. Roll the dough into a long thin rectangle and add more flour as needed. Try to make your rectangle as square as possible because you're going to then cut this into your ravioli squares. What's also nice about this recipe is that you don't need a pasta maker. We recently got a pasta maker, but haven't had one for years and I've always wanted to make pasta without a pasta maker. And this really is not that hard. I think you'll find that it works pretty well. Next, you're just gonna add a spoonful of filling to the dough about two inches apart from each other. 
and you're gonna do it in rows so that you can easily cut this later on. Grab a small bowl of water and with a food brush, you're gonna brush the water in between the squash dots on the dough. This helps the top ravioli dough layer to stick to the bottom one so that you can cut it up later into squares. Next, roll the second half of the dough out, trying to match the size and shape of your first half because you're going to lay it on top. Make sure you have plenty of flour on your counter so that the dough is easy to handle and pick up. So carefully pick up the thin rectangle dough and set it over the first dough with the filling. Then with your fingers, you just want to gently press in between each filling, pinching the two dough pieces together. You want to try not to press on the filling itself or it will smoosh down and spread into the next filling. Using a sharp knife, then you're gonna slice the lines to create square shapes around each dot where you press the dough together to create your ravioli. easy part you're just going to heat up some water on the stove bring it to a boil with some salt place the ravioli squares into the boiling water for about three minutes or until they are floating on top of the water strain the ravioli and drizzle with olive oil and salt Serve with freshly grated Parmesan cheese and enjoy. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this homemade einkorn ravioli recipe. I hope that with the butternut squash and the sage, this recipe brings you a nice taste of fall. If you're brand new to my page, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook. Every week I post new farm to table recipes and homemade natural living from our homestead here in Duval. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duval Homestead.